Hey guys, Techie HD here again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak uh, your iPhone. Uh, this is all models of the iPhone, including the iPhone 5C and 5S, um, and along with all the new generation devices running iOS versions between 7.0 and 7.0.4. This was literally just released, and as you guys can see, this does support the iPhone 5C as well as the iPhone 5S, uh, as well as the new iPad mini with Retina display, iPad Air, uh, and it is actually made by the evaders team now this is a 100 legit jailbreak which just came out uh, and i'm going to show it to you guys on my iphone 5c because that is the latest device uh, in apple's iphone lineup besides for the iphone 5s and the one that i have with me currently now, here's how to do it. Basically, what you do is head over to the evasion.com website, the link to which is in the description below, and then download the software for whichever operating system you're on, Windows or Mac OS X. Now, since I'm using a Mac, I'm gonna hit Mac OS X, uh, and of course, the download should start. Now, if the download doesn't start, or if it doesn't redirect you to the mega.co.nz website, then do click on one of the mirrored links that you saw a couple seconds ago, because by the time that this video is up and this is starting to get more popular, the servers are more than likely gonna get clogged up very quickly. Now as you guys can see this is already starting to take a little while which means more and more people are downloading the file. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is, and since it's only a 30 megabyte file it shouldn't take too long, I'm going to hit download to my computer. Now this is going to take a little while so I will be back as soon as it's done. Alright guys, so once you finish downloading the Evasion software onto your computer, what you're going to do is get your device. Uh, of course, as you guys can see here, I am using this and testing this on my iPhone 5C. And then get the lightning cable that came with your device, or a official third party, and I don't really know what I mean by official third party, but a supported lightning cable, uh, and plug your iPhone into your computer. Now, I recommend plugging this straight into your computer's USB port, as I did. I didn't want to plug it into my external um, USB hub, just in case anything was to go wrong I think it's always uh, a safety measure which you should take and plug this into your computer directly and after you've done that what you're gonna do is open up iTunes on your computer go to your iPhone uh, tab as you guys can see over here uh, and I would definitely recommend making a backup so of course I have it set to backing up on my computer and I don't know if you guys can see but it is backing up but if you guys would prefer not to back up to your computer in case you think that you may uh, potentially lose your backup in the process of doing this uh, or creating this um, jailbreak, what you can do is go onto your device, uh, come over here to settings. Uh, what I'm going to do is turn out the brightness so you guys can see a little better. Then come down to iCloud uh, and storage and backup and actually turn on iCloud backup and then back up straight onto iCloud so that you guys don't have to use your computer to do this step. Now I always recommend doing this but once you're done uh, what you guys need to do is actually head over back to the computer which I will in a second uh, to continue the jailbreak process so I'm going to move on back to the computer and show you guys what to do next but remember to keep your iPhone hooked up to your computer at all times. Uh, Alright guys so once you do have uh, all that done after you've plugged in your iPhone and after you've backed it up what you can do is actually open up the evasion.dmg file uh, or if you're on a Windows computer I believe it is a .exe file then you will see a readme from the evaders team uh, as well as evasion 7. Now what you do in if you're on a Windows Vista or above computer um, I would recommend hitting right click and then going down to uh, I think it's properties and then running it as an administrator but if you're on a Mac you don't have to do anything like that and just open up the evasion 7 software. Now all you do is hit open when you are prompted to do so and then it says, here you go, a welcome, to, a welcome evasion 7 is an untethered jailbreak for iOS 7.x, uh, and, and it detects your device automatically, so it says iPhone 5C Global, which is the version that I have running 7.0.4, is going to tell you if the version and the device is supported, and then it tells you that you can actually hit jailbreak to begin. Now, obviously that this is a very new jailbreak, so I do not guarantee right now uh, that I may not run into errors, but so without any further ado, let's straight, uh, get straight on into this. Alright guys, so as you guys can probably tell, I have fast forwarded this part of the video because it has taken quite a long time. Uh, now, I also do have this little live view thing in the bottom left. I've tried to get it aligned as best as I possibly can. Uh, but essentially what has been going on is that the device rebooted a couple times, they make you turn it on uh, and actually turn on and press some sort of uh, evasion icon. Uh, on your device, uh, which actually does uh, continue the process a little bit further for some things. Uh, and then what happens is that it actually um, 
install city onto your device now this is of course a fully 100 percent untethered jailbreak for all the new latest devices as you can see in the live view window i've turned on my device uh, and there's the evasion icon that i make you tap then of course there are some more uh, of these little processes that go on uh, in the background uh, while the evasion software, and you can probably see this in the live view window, is actually injecting all the jailbreak information. But once you're done, it reboots your device a couple more times, and then of course you actually do end up with Cydia on your device. Now it was a bit of a shock for me to see that this actually came through uh, altogether because I wasn't really expecting it to work, honestly. But it was really awesome that it did, and I would really like to give a huge shout out to the Evaders team for making this possible because it has been a very long time in the making for an iOS 7 um, jailbreak so anyway guys thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed it and would like to see some jailbreak videos please do let me know in the comment section below and for more videos like these as well as other unboxing news reviews tutorials and much much more please do remember to subscribe because it is really appreciated anyway thank you very much for watching and as always i will catch you all in the next video peace